Make sure you've got plenty of history. See, the inclination is to say, well, I studied plenty of history in school, but, you know, that's just not enough. Your view of history now is just a lot better than when you were a teenager. When you were 19, 20, 21 going to college, you know, maybe you were a little more serious than I was about college when I went to college. But uh, sure enough, taking a look now at some books and going through some history and human behavior of the past and how some civilizations have come and gone, a lot of that might have a lot more meaning for you now than it did back then. So just go back and review some of the things you've already known or gone through. Uh, history. Did Daniel mention the book Lessons of History? That's a good book to get. Lessons of History by Durant, Will and Ariel Durant. They wrote 11 or 12 volumes on civilization. And with your new reading skills, you can get those and go through all those. But uh, get this book, Lessons of History. It's only 100 pages, but it's so incredibly well written. It's just a capsule view of, of history. Just, it's a unique, unique, unique book, Lessons of History by Durant. Will and Ariel are a writing, husband and wife writing team. I think they're in their 80s now, and they're phenomenal. Now, you've got to go through religion and the spiritual side of your nature needs to be educated and well-fed. Philosophy. A whole series of philosophical discussions over the last three or 4,000 years. Interesting, interesting reading. What is value? What are values? What are the most important values? What is life all about? philosophy. Then culture. Make sure you study music and the dance, and the arts. Every society that develops into any kind of unique society is proud of its culture. Make sure you go to as many plays as you do ball games. Right? Just make sure you get the culture. Right? Then you got to have some books on uh, finance and money. You got to know a bit about money and inflation and you, know, you don't have to particularly make it a study you know, unless you wish to, you know, specialize in it. There are some things you need at least a fundamental awareness of. And one is money, the economic system. Another is bookkeeping. You need to be able to read financial statements, and know what assets and liabilities are, and debits and credits. And, you know, everybody needs just a, a bit of fundamental on bookkeeping and, and how most records are kept. Um, you also need a, some fundamentals on law, because uh, legalities these days and being involved in lawsuits and disputes and so on is, you know, fairly common now, right, to find yourself, right, embroiled in some controversy where you've got to know a little bit about what's going on. Don't just always, you know, hope somebody else will come up with the uh, information that you might need. Just learn a little bit about it yourself, okay? You don't have to make it a lifetime study, but just so you have some good fundamentals on law, bookkeeping, um, uh, money, commerce, what's happening in the world. Um, then you've got to have some, some novels and, and uh, some fun reading, interesting reading. Make sure you've got poetry. Just a well-rounded library. A whole variety, right? You need some mental protein, carbohydrates and enzymes, and vitamins and minerals, and, right? You just, you got to have it all, well-rounded personal self-education and the self-help books that deal with uh, human behavior and uh, success. And remember, from your personal development library, 
Become a student, not a follower. A student. Be independent. I understand the team concept, and we do have to work together. But I'm a great believer in being as independent as you possibly can. Because that's where the real strength lies in the team effort, is independent, individual application of all the learning and all the skills you can possibly accumulate, the knowledge and awareness that you can possibly accumulate relying more and more on your own self and your own education and your own awareness rather than relying on other people. Okay, personal development library. In my opinion, it's so important. One of the things you ought to be proud of uh, as the years go by is your library.